All right, well, this is our chance. Stop it. Should be no one in here, because nobody was in the previous room's Vasco lab key needed. Ivory Scrimshaw. I believe the code was 551 or 515 or... I think it was 551. Typewriter. Hopefully it's inside. Old note from Dr. Hypatia. Vasco, today was exhausting. I expect the flood of patients will be unabated tomorrow, well into the foreseeable future. It would be most helpful to me if you could set up a triage area. Send me only the most urgent cases, especially issues of severe bronchial distress, black spittle, festering wounds, or pediatric cases with coughing or serious injury. These I must see right away. For the rest, could you please handle them personally? I trust your skills as an equal to my own. Alas, I fear we will miss the little half day off we discussed. Next month, for certain, Alexandria. Wow. They're so busy they talk about it getting a half day off once a month and then don't actually get one. Probably didn't help that they, they fired one of the other uh, patients. Reminder, things to buy. Fourth of day, month of birth. 1851. Vasco, sorry to have to send you out again so soon, but I won't be able to proceed until I have the following. One large tin of powdered sea salt. Compounding grease. Not that, but not lard. It goes rancid too quickly. Rubbing distill distillates. Gly uh, glycerin. Two vials of oil of juniper. Of two vials oil, oil of juniper. Two vials oil of rose. I know the rose oil is expensive, but it's the only thing for, uh, for clearing the lungs of phlegm. So what can we do? Maybe we'll plant our own rose garden someday, no? Wish I, uh, wish that I could go fetch them myself, Alexandra Hypatia. I wonder if they did set a... I wonder if they did set up a rose garden outside. Depends on how old that letter is. Alright, so... Five? Oh, crap. I didn't turn fast enough and accidentally pressed on the same one again. Kinda wish you could turn them backwards. Five, five. <laughs> of course it's on two. Yeah, the code is five, five, one, so they were set to seven, seven, two to make it as long as possible. Uh, now I don't need any more mana. Can't just serum notes. This time, it has to work. I'm certain the dosage is right, and I will only have one chance. Grind all the solid ingredients together, including the ammonium salts, aluminum salts. Done. Add some egg whites. They should have some in the kitchen, but I'll have to be discreet. Done. Two weeks in my safe, away from daylight, should be enough for the serum base to activate. Add half a syringe of tainted blood taken from an infested human corpse. If Dr. Hypatia was in her right mind, she would probably object to this step. But since the Grand Guard put Adermine under lockdown, several men have died, killed by blood flies. They must, they might as well serve the greater good. All the previous blood samples uh, seemed promising. I'll need to avoid being seen again by the janitor. Heat the final mixture, inject as soon as possible. Her assistant's book. There we go, we need to take the syringe. Vasco's diary, month of high cold. 1850. Alexandra's new serum must never leave Adermeyer, and no one must ever know of our failure. We test it on ourselves, which we often do, in fractional doses. The night was sheer horror. It's hard to describe the effects of the mind, the frenzy it induced. We were not ourselves. Alexandria muttered to herself, calling herself Grim Alex, almost as if she had a total shift in personality. I cannot commit to paper all that occurred, but I will burn the shame remembering I will burn with shame remembering the the way my perspective shifted, as if my entire Mort uh, morality was upended. The following day, after recovering my senses, I felt better than I have in years. The serum must hold the keys to improved lung func function and greater and general vigor. It could even uh, ameliorate the effects uh, of some of the worst fevers and infections, but the costs are too high. The absolute loss of empathy, the unfettered appetites. And yet... A week later, I watched Alexandria on the terrace below. She was in a terrible way, disheveled, with words escaping her lips that were jumbled and wild. Her movements were unfamiliar. In the morning, 
I asked if she had tried the serum again. She was most alarmed, assuring me that she would never again touch it, even a drop of it. She swears that only a sample remains, safe locked away for future study. She probably kept making more of it. Maybe she herself didn't think that she was using it, but the other her that they had awoken that day was probably continuing to inject her with it over and over again to gain more and more power without her being aware. It's a dark situation to be in, unfortunately. And there's probably no escape unless you're... Well, you'd have to be bound, basically. Somehow stopped from being able to do things that you want to do. So all this happened, uh, or at least all that happened to him, because ultimately he made the mistake of recording an audiograph. <laughs> it was like that South Park episode, that South Park moment of the game, the South Park game where uh, they're like, "Why am I, why am I recording an audio log right now?" <laughs> it's like there's so much stuff going on. Why am I doing this? And it's like, why is he recording an audio log so he can get caught? Whoops. Fifteen, uh, 1851, one year, the next year after the previous diary. A patient arrived late at night complaining of grit in her eyes. The good doctor was resting, finally, so I took the case. After careful observation, I determined that the, the cause was silver dust from the mines, to bring forth tearing from the eyes. I combined glycerin and pepper oil, which I planned to follow at once with a rinse. However, the burning sensation... The burning sensation was apparently quite marked, and the patient was too distressed to let me attend further. However, the flow of tears was sufficient that I'd wager by morning her eyes were clear. I declare my idea for purging the eyes of grit to be a success. I could sell the formula, just the thing to get dust and debris banished from the eyes. Vasco formula for eyes and ears, is what I'll call it. Fast and effective. All with, uh, all with Dr. Alexandria Hypatia's permission, of course. She knows best. Damn. Damn. So, glycerin and pepper oil, that's severe. It might have sufficed, potentially, but yeah, if you can't rinse their eyes, that's pretty fucked. It's just gonna be sitting there screaming in agony as their eyes feel like they're burning out, basically. So I think that's most of our things taken care of. Right, we need, we need the infected blood from the syringe. Gross. So I need to go find... Oh, there, there was one of them in the next room over, conveniently. Right in here. Disgusting. I've been meaning to comment on how much this game is significantly, significantly influenced by Bioshock. And now I just had my extracting Adam from a body moment, and I believe there's no need to even comment on that anymore, is there? We don't want those guys to get out. Aha, they'll never get me in here. So I need the... What do I do next in here? Do I put it on the burner? Aha, I have a biometric flask. That was not part of the, the goal here. Let's see. Do I just put it? Oh, see, there we go. Base serum. Anyone caught taking medicinal supplies will be written up 
and five. For a moment there, I thought she was putting that in her own hand, and I was going to be alarmed. So we good now? What's the next step? Create the counter serum. So after I get this, I let's review the notes. We had notes. The notes are over here. No, actually, they're in my inventory now. There we go. Lauren maps. Counter serum notes. Add half the syringe of tainted blood from an infected human. Heat the mixture. Okay. And then it says inject as soon as possible, so I should probably save. Just in case I have to like sprint to her, although I don't think we're too far away. But just in case there's a time limit to worry about. Please don't somehow overheat it or something. I'm admittedly kind of winging it here. Yep, this sure looks like alchemy. For her sake, I hope this works. Sure hope so. So here's the question. How do I use it? Is it in my inventory? Dark vision far reach, incendiary boat sleep dart heart. No, it's not here. So do I sneak up behind her? Is that the goal? Or do I just need to like sleep dart her or something? That's the question that I'm not too keen on. Is there a... There's a rune below us. I figure before I leave, I'll double check to see if there's any items like that nearby. I don't, th I don't think there is. Alright, so we need to reach the crown killer and inject her. Without killing her. Shit! He saw me through the glass. I think I got away. They're coming in here. Is that them seeing the bodies? You're fine, everything's fine, don't worry about it. There we go. I don't ever wanna feel... Oh shit, he saw me? No, stop seeing me. Oh, he saw me. He was walking like he couldn't see me, but then suddenly snapped to seeing me when I walked near him, even though I was in stealth mode. I don't know. Something about their behavior in this game doesn't make as much sense to me as it did in the previous game. Something about the- I think it's their anim- is it their animations? It's like, well, I'll walk in the room and they'll act like they can't see me, and then they'll suddenly, out of nowhere, snap like they can see me. Almost like they're being really clever and doing a bunch of weird fake-outs or something. Get out of the way. There we go. Well, the important thing is they're down and not dead yet. And now I can care now I can just casually walk up and down these stairs. I guess it was not worth it trying to go around them in the first place, huh? I even could have gotten flammable stuff. Oh look, there's coins. There we go. I get to rob their shitty little poker game. Just like they deserve. Alright, so the big question is going to be how in the world do you use the serum on him on her? Do you just choke her out from behind and it automatically uses the serum? Do I knock her out and then when she's a body on the ground, I then uh, get a use option on her body? Does knocking her out work? If it did, then I, I would definitely have done that sooner. And how severe, how brutal of a boss fight is she if you fight her as the... Uh... You're dead, aren't you? Isn't this fun? Is she back down there? Oh, she's running around now. That's concerning. Let's have this ready just in case. Did she leave? I might be able to jump on her. 
No. Now she's down there. If I get above her, I could do a dropping knockout. That probably that probably work on her. After all, she's probably a psychopath right now or something, but she's probably not. She probably doesn't have super strength necessarily, right? Maybe she does after what she threw when at me. When I catch you, I'm going to take my time. Yeah. What happened? Hi. No. Ow. Holy crap, I'm dying. This is severe. Ooh, I can use... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Stun mines. That'll work, I think, maybe. Hopefully. Do I need to heal again? Alright, so jumping on her to knock her out does not work. For the record. No match for the brute spirit. No, just knock out. Just get KO'd. It's okay. Oh, there we go. You're all better no, now. No, no, not back to sleep. I won't go. I won't give it back. Yay! It worked. I have a talking prompt, which is a surprise. Dr. Hypatia? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No. Someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. Is she able to leave though? I thought she was confined to this place. It's a rough time for Vasco, damn. Damn, that was a bad time. So stunning didn't really work, sleeping didn't really work, but I think eventually she just got KO'd. I think I just had to walk up to her and hit crouch, I mean it hit control ultimately, and that would just automatically inject her. I just didn't necessarily have a way of knowing that blind. But I, I think I might have had the option to always inject her once I had the serum, and it didn't matter how well I was doing. Ooh. Sokolov's abduction. Dear friend, the doc captain just sent word that he spotted Sokolov. Knows his habits. Says Sokolov buys whale blood off the boats by the gallon to make pigments, apparently. See, you seem to share some interest with the old genius, so why don't you go and invite him over like we said? The sooner the better. He's probably playing on a boat at the bay. I am I trust you'll be able to follow his scent, keep him safe in Adermeyer. Don't hurt him, or he'll be useless for our plans. If you're hungry, though, the dock captain has served his purpose, and his second-in-command recently did me a favor. Well, shit. The dock captain and his second-in-command. Are we talking? No, we're not talking about our. We're not talking about our captain, because the. Uh, she wouldn't have had. She wouldn't have paid them to kill the person that they liked. That was just. Uh, that they're unrelated. Let's see. Let's go find. There you are. Use one of you. Did I check you already? I checked you already. And that, now it's time to pick up a bunch of those healing vials that we've been seen sitting around this whole time. So I believe we're now good to go, right? Return to the dreadful whale, shut down the watchtower. Right. We have to shut down the watchtower or Megan won't be able to come here. So I still need to find that. There's a rune in that distant direction. Oops. Didn't mean to cast it again like that. Over there. That's the watchtower. That's actually really close. I need to get it out. I need to figure out how to get it outside the walls. Which is somewhat more difficult. Was there a hole over there? Do I need... I don't... I don't think any of these windows opened, because that was the whole point, was to keep them in and make me take a really specific path to get inside. Yeah. They wanted me- the, the level designer wanted me to go through all the blood flies to get in. 
So naturally, there's no way in and out from here. Should be another red one over here that I left all this time. There it is. Resupplied. Is that all I needed? Yep. Back to 10-10. And pretty much full resources, too. There's one over here, too. Ah, uh, let's waste it. Uh, R. There we go. Let's get our asses out of here. That action slide. There's one guard over here. Watchtower's that way. My best call is probably climbing. There we go. That's a satisfying way of getting around, except for the weird, weird moments where it doesn't quite do what I want to. What's this over here? Oh! This is the front entrance, so this is like the crest. If this was Hitman, then there would be uh, some sort of important character down there, and I'd be like, ha ha! And he would fall down and obliterate them. And he'd be like, ha ha, creative kill! completely unrelated though in this case it's just a point it's just a little instance of eye-catching architecture let's get our asses out of here so how do I disable this watchtower this whole area should be clear because I believe I got the only guy that was here he should be sh safe up there on a ledge oh there's a guy I have to prove me wrong ah there's a whole region down there there's also stuff over here I should probably explore. I guess it's the whole other side of the area. Oh, crap. Didn't necessarily want to go that far, but okay. I tried to aim quickly in the moment to see how it would work out. Did not quite work out. Get on this table. There you go, you're safe. Congratulations. There's this stuff. So I don't think I ever quite looked inside here from the other side or does this all loop together no this is all one conjoined thing oh missed that the first time around don't need you at all yeah nothing new for me here got a little bit of money that I missed the first time somehow Are there any other doors I can open along the way here what's this red thing oh sleeping guard Oh, the sleeping guard that I put there. <laughs> Thought there was another one sitting on lawn chair that just hadn't woken up because I never made noise. Nope, that's the full loop. Now we just need to find our clean way down. And this ledge may not be the smartest way to get it. <laughs> to get what I want. Action sliding on a ledge. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Can I use this? Neat. Can't look at, can't see much from here besides the low, these low resolution buildings in the distance. I, I'm doing my part. Here at Dishonored Pest Controls. All right. Oh, this has to be a bad idea. Can I get down there? That I don't think it's giving me a single thing to latch onto from here. Ah. Oopsie. I tried to cancel with J. Is there a single ledge down here? The best I could do is probably jump for the water. Or go back inside and find an alternate way in. I honestly kind of like the idea of jumping for it, but I'm not stupid enough to do it without saving. Hey, let's find out if I can make it to water or not. That was a terrible idea. I'm alive. Where am I going right now? What the hell? Was that just some intense amount of underwater, like, <laughs> momentum I had? Here, climb up. I miss being dry and warm. I think I genuinely just had so much momentum that I kept going in that direction, even when I was trying to turn around. <laughs> that was a moment. There we go, we had, an, we had our Altair moment. So there's no guards in this little booth here. I can't grab anything from here. 
because I haven't used enough of it. I need to turn you off. And there are guards that'll probably notice me if I try to go for it. Can I jump onto that chain? Yes, I can. Neat. Oh, shit. Hi. Who are you? How you doing? You aren't going anywhere. Oh, that's a gun. Oh, how many of you are there? Oh, what? What happened? <laughs> Wait, what happened? What hit me from behind? Oh, that's probably bad. <laughs> that abruptly fell apart. <laughs> that's my bad. That's fine. We'll just uh we'll just have to shoot them with the, from a from with a sleep darts or dive on them or one of the many other options I have. How do you feel about fun, 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 fun? This is sort of suicidal, but, uh... Huh? <laughs> Terrible idea. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that counts as non-lethal. Alright, well, I'm safe up here now. Look at all this whale oil. Let's get this out of here. Wouldn't want them to be able to use any of this. Oh. Right, there's still people to notice those sorts of things somewhere. What's in here? Oh, so it's those people I knocked out earlier. Oh, yeah. Where I, that's, that's where I, I had a bad time and got ran into trouble with a bunch of people. That was the door I couldn't open earlier. So that was another thing you had to get past. So I did try to keep this all locked up so you couldn't get here. Unsuccessfully. Whee! Uh, let's open you up. Well, not you. There we go. Bye! Boom. I feel like depth charges when that happens. Alright. So who was I alerting earlier? Are they below me? They are below me. Will I screw this up is the question. Hit. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! That is not non-lethal. That's a lie that we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better. Like in Arkham Knight when Batman can run people over and the game's all like, Ah, oh, they got electro- they, they got electrocuted. That's not- they're- they're fine. They just got knocked out. He's just knocking them out. Have we mentioned that everyone in Gotham's a superhero too? And can totally take hits from a car? No? Oh, right. They're humans. They're dead. That's- that's what just happened. A Batman Arkham Knight moment is what's happening here. Or we just pretend that the people I fell on from two stories up and slammed into their their heads into the concrete are alive. When they are most certainly not. Alright. So we're all ready to leave. I most certainly do not have every... I most certainly do not have everything in the game. There's at least one rune over there I never got. Is that all that's left? Did I actually accidentally find all the other ones without, without knowing? Maybe. We'll see. Are we finished? The Grand Guard could come at any time. Oh, yeah? Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. Did you find Sokolov? No. But Hypatia was the crown killer. What? I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. What about Sokolov? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know him? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sirkonos. Then he's next. Let's hope Anton's all right. Is anyone going to be able to warn her not to keep taking the stuff that she had? I don't know if any. I don't know if that's actually going to work out at all. Yeah, imagine not kill anyone again. So now that's three missions down, where I killed someone in one mission. I killed like two or three people in the first mission on accident, especially the guy I accidentally shot in the face. <laughs> but uh, last two missions were uh, merciful. Oh, I did better than I thought I did. Uh, I missed two blueprints, but I and I didn't get a lot of coins, but I got every bone charm, and I found the shrine, and I only missed one rune. 
I thought I did way worse than that. Earlier on, I was like, I'm never going to find all these. It seems impossible. But I guess those ones that I couldn't figure out how to reach must have been uh, the ones that I found when I wandered into like the story locations to do make the serum and stuff like that. And that, that must have been why I couldn't figure out how to get it to them is because they were so locked up in weird uh, lab, sort of secret ways. Not secret, but locked up for later. I had to progress the story, basically. Crafted an antidote that freed Dr. Alexandria Hypatia from Grim Alex. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. He transformed our city with his inventions. Electricity for the factories and carriages racing along above the streets. As I grew up, his buzzing and glowing devices kept me safe. His stories always made me giggle, and his outrageous conversation shocked aristocrats and overseers alike. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. A mad inventor who has given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. Got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers.